I was 18 when I first started. My, one of my friends actually worked at one of the shops, um, the shop that I applied at actually in Woodbridge. And I don't know, I just, I love smoking. If I did want a career with this job, I would probably go with something more along the lines of like store promotion and like film and camera and whatnot. Like photography is one of my passions, so I love taking pictures and whatnot. There was this one time um, when the store was first opening, he asked me to go take pictures and he really liked the pictures I took, so I don't know, I kind of like debated it in the back of my mind for a little while after that. Something that will stick with me about this company will probably be. Hmm, I gotta think about that one. I would probably have to say something along the lines of like just crazy customer experiences. Just something I'd never dealt with or seen people do before I worked here. There was this one crazy guy in Woodbridge when I first started working, and we had one of those katana sets. And give me one second, I gotta go help a customer. So there was this guy in the store, and this guy's crazy. Like he talks to himself and whatnot. And he had like a bunch of like plastic, like shiny rings and stuff, big like cheap chains and whatnot, and always came in the craziest outfits. And we had those little katana sets, and it was on this case on top of the shelf. Like he would come in and he would ask about the swords, but then one time he decided he was gonna take the sword down and start playing with it. He unsheathed it and was like swinging it around. And yeah, he ended up getting banned because he tried to steal. The problem I faced as a woman working here, especially with men that are customers, although this has happened sometimes with women, they won't believe me on certain things, like they'll think that I, what I'm saying isn't right about like prices or products and so they don't like, like to believe me a lot. Even though I have a lot of experience here, I know a, a lot about the products, there's a lot of depth of product knowledge that I have. So when people don't believe what I have to say, it's very, very frustrating. Within the company, my face within the company. It'd probably be something similar. A lot of newer co-workers that are males, they don't tend to like listen to me. I guess the only thing I wish would, would be different from my position how it is now, I would probably just say like more pay, more respect. And going back to the people don't really like to listen to women in this workplace, I just would want people to listen to me when I have to say honestly. From a moralistic standpoint, when I'm trying to sell someone a vape and they're trying to quit, I typically, I feel bad. I'll typically try to add, like offer them the zero percents and the lower percentages, but like there's also a lot of better flavors in the five percents, so it's kind of hard. Moralistically, I like to listen to the person and what they want and like really cater to them, but sometimes from a salesperson standpoint, I can't do that as much, especially when they want like a certain brand or a certain flavor, so it's kind of hard to differentiate between that. I am a salesperson at the end of the day and they're coming in here for products that would eventually feed their addiction, whether it's a 0% or not. When I see someone spending the last bit of money they have on products in here to not necessarily help their health or anything, um, I don't know, I like, I feel bad because I, I don't know, I care about people, you know what I mean? Like I don't want them to be harming themselves, but at the same time, once again, I'm a salesperson. It profits the company, therefore I profit, but I also feel really bad on the inside sometimes, especially when it's like things like oil burners. It just feels icky. This one customer in Woodbridge, once again, he was this kid who only used to buy like new ports and things like that. We started seeing him hanging out with bad people. Like he used to have a dog and then I think something happened where he couldn't have his dog anymore and he started looking really dirty and like just not okay and you could tell he was doing hard drugs and it was it was hard to watch because he was a really sweet guy he was a really sweet kid and he had his big fluffy dog that he would come in with and i don't know there was one point that he did start to get better he started to clean himself up and everything and i don't know after that it kind of went downhill again so it's it's really sad to see people like that i mean the next thing i would like to do would probably be something or along the lines of photography and tattooing. In Colorado, where I'm from, 
there are tattoo smoke shops like combined in one, but there's a lot of certifications and whatnot to do that as a business, so I would have to get certified. Most people really like the tattoos when they see them. I definitely have looked into getting my certifications and licenses for tattooing, but it is a process. You have to be like an apprentice for a little while or do something of the, an equivalent. My name is Kat and I've been working at Tobacco King for about two years now.